Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is now 5.30 a.m. and I'm about to do something extremely cool. All right, so step one on the list, we have to get COVID tested and then I'll tell you a little more about what we're gonna do. at all these figs in one spot. <laughs> figs party at One Wall Street. And you'll see why we're going here in a second. What a whirlwind morning that was. We woke up at like 4.50 a.m., went all the way downtown to Wall Street. We had that IPO, which was amazing, as you saw from all the pictures. I had to leave at about 11, missed out on the yoga and all the activities, because I had to go back to work. Everybody else came from out of state and had the day off, but I still live here and couldn't find a person to take my shift. So I'm going back in the hospital now. It's about 12.30, probably stay till like five-ish. I'm really cross my fingers because I'm hoping that I can get out of here, and go all the way back downtown to Wall Street for dinner tonight at like 6.30, we'll see. So, oops, the sun's in my eyes. I cannot tell you what an absolute crazy whirlwind 24 hours I just had. It was insane and insanely fun, and I'll tell you all about it when I find time later today. Because unfortunately, after staying up really late last night, I have to go in and do a full day of consults right now at 6 or a.m., and I'm heading to the hospital. All right, but since I partied a little too hard last night, I need some nourishment to get me through today, and that's why I'm going to the bagel shop. All right, so remember when I said I was going to explain about everything that's going on this week? Well, I was going to do that on the walk home, but now it's pouring down rain, so let me get inside, get warm and dry, and we'll go over it all. Okay, what an absolute crazy 48 hours. Seriously, crazy. It's so dark outside because there's so much rain, cloudy, everything, so I just have to use artificial light. But anyways, crazy last 48 hours. I had this grandiose plan of like trying to vlog it all, but it just got too crazy, too hectic, and I was running around like a crazy person trying to go from one place to another. So I figured I would just regurgitate a whole bunch of cool content that I filmed while all this stuff was going down, and then I would like catch everybody up to speed at the end of the video. So I'm on consults this week, and I get a email last week telling me that Figs is going public. You guys know by watching my channel, obviously I'm a little obsessed with the stock market, trading, following stocks. That's like what I do on my day off. And then when Figs told me that they were going public, I was like <laughs> Because I've worked with Figs for the past three or so years. I think I started working with them, becoming an ambassador in about 2018 or so. Been nothing but absolutely amazing people to work with. And now they're going public and it gets better. They email me right after they told us they were going public and said, oh, by the way, you are invited for an all expenses paid trip to IPO with us, which is crazy. I'm like, holy, I get to go down to the New York Stock Exchange for an IPO of a company I know and have worked with. Like, this has been a dream for I don't even know how long. Like, that is literally a dream. So the problem is, in residency, it's very hard to take time off, as you know. But luckily, New York Stock Exchange is 15 minute drive down the road in Manhattan. 
So I was like, okay, I can make this. And I actually almost didn't get to go. So let's rewind a little bit. I had to basically bargain with some of my co-residents. Shout out Jenny Watchmaker. She actually is the one that stepped up to the plate and covered the shift for me so that I could go down there. So when you saw me leave at 5 a.m. or whatever to go down to Four Seasons Hotel and Wall Street, that's when Jenny was covering me that first half of the day. So I went down there first thing in the morning, got COVID tested, hung out with all the people that I've seen on like Instagram and YouTube and never actually met in real life. So just a whole bunch of different ambassadors for figs from all different medical professions, dentists, veterinarians, nurses, doctors, PAs, etc. It's just so cool to meet everybody and make new friends who have the exact same interests of you. They love medicine and they love doing social media stuff. So we were just like throwing things off each other and meeting new people and like discovering new things about social media. It was, it was phenomenal. But nonetheless, you can tell I'm a little excited because I had such a great time. Nonetheless, went down there, COVID tested, met people. We all had on like fig scrubs, brand new set of fig scrubs. Went down to Wall Street, the New York Stock Exchange. We had this huge party outside, celebrated, sweated, danced until like 11 a.m. or so. And then I had to go sprint back uptown to go back to the hospital and take over for Jenny because she was on another assignment. She was just kind of cross covering for me. Covered it until about five because I literally had to sprint over from the hospital to my apartment, change, shower, put on a nice blazer, take an Uber all the way down in traffic and be at the hotel by 6 p.m. so that I could take the shuttle to the center where we were having the big like banquet celebration party or whatever that evening. Shout out Jenny again who held the pager for me from like 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. so that I could do that. And we basically just, again, sat next to different people I've never met before, had a fantastic time. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, which should be all of you guys, you saw all my fun posts and all that stuff. We had the best time. I got to witness an IPO for a company I love, have worked with forever, go to New York Stock Exchange, do all this. Like, I can't think of a better last 48 hours than I've had in a very long time. That's how fun it was. And honestly, it was really kind of inspiring because the two CEOs, Trina and Heather, kind of built this company, and then you see it turn into this just monster of a company, and it IPOs with a valuation close to $4 billion. What, they just started selling scrubs, and now all of a sudden, through hard work, they have a $4 billion plus company. If that's not inspiring, I don't know what is. The absolute coolest part of all of this is, wait for it, FIGS, ticker symbol, F-I-G-S, FIGS, I can trade their stock online, and I'm going to buy some, if I haven't bought some already. But yeah, crazy. So a company I've worked with for so long, I can now trade their stock every day on the New York Stock Exchange. Insanity, mind-blowing, inspirational, you name it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this absolutely insane random video. I tried to make it like cohesive, but I just failed miserably because I was constantly rushing in Ubers and changing and showering and going here and going to work and making sure the patients were covered and all this stuff. It was crazy. But now it's Friday, just finished my last day of consults ever in my entire life, which is also awesome. So it's a pretty good uh, last 48 hours, if I don't say so myself. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Again, follow me on Instagram, you'll see cool stuff like this. Follow me on TikTok as well. Guess I'll see you all on the next video. See ya.